keep it ugly and gross. Patriots, fuck. It's not a, it's not a, a big belt to ask, but Gerard Mayo had to lock in. Belts to ass. And Cincinnati, fucking trash. Week ones, Whoa. week ones and week twos. I say this every you year. Said, you I did say that. I, bro, I say they start slow every fucking year. And what happens? Literally, Joe Burrow is one and eight in week ones and week twos in his like seven in his last like five years. He's one and eight, bro. He doesn't win early. He doesn't win. This yes, he'll have an amazing October and November, and all of a sudden they're eight and three, eight and four. It's like oh my god, they have a chance to be the one seed or win the division, but they start off so slow. The vibes are not vibing. T Higgins out, hamstring. Ch- uh, Jamar Chase only had like you know didn't play that much. He had six catches, which is cool, but didn't really play much. The Dol- I said Dolphins, the Patriots. Once they got the lead, I knew it was GGs because they were they were gonna do exactly what I do on NCAA football. I get a lead, I milk the fucking clock, I run the ball. It's GGs. <laughs> it's GGs. Over the set showed some wheels. That was the slowest, fastest black man I've ever seen, man. He made it happen, man. The Bengals, they're gonna I, eh, spoiler alert, they losing next week. Facts. The vibes are not good in Cincinnati right now because you decide you get you had to pay Joe Burrow, obviously. You choose not to pay Chase yet when he definitely deserves his bag. All again, this is a bad, bad vibes. I, I, I it's bad vibes. Shout out to Gerard Mayo, hell of a win. You probably won't win another game this season, but Obviously, we're going to do an FID parlay and make it. Hey, we're going to hate. You don't got to win. Don't got to win. Just got to cover. Got to cover the spread. They, they, they uh, got Seattle. They got Seattle at home. So we'll see. We'll see. What time is that? One o'clock. Oh, West Coast going East Coast. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but I say bum ass Cincinnati. You should be the one saying bum ass Cincinnati. But good win by the Patriots. I should have bit the bullet and called it, but I said they'll cover. So, they upset the Bengals 16 to 10. So boom. Now I gotta talk my shit. Yo, bro. They, they still saying you better than Lamar son. They still saying you better than Allen son. Again, Lamar lost. Hey, that's fine. We didn't lose to the Patriots though. We lost to the Chiefs. The on, one the was, on the road. They been in it. You feel me? By a half an inch. You lose, you don't score, you don't score a passing touchdown. You don't, you only have a hundred some yards. This is a big bad Burrow hat. This is you, this is you like, come on now. Like, you said it, man. They start slow. I, I'm rolling with you too. We spoil alert. Y'all losing to Kansas City. Y'all ain't beating Kansas City. Your offensive lines, doodle, still. Chris Jones about to eat. So it's GG's. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's it's proven that, and I think it's the Nerds podcast on a volume. One of them said it, that he's not a riser. He's not an elevator like Allen and Lamar is. He's was, he was blessed by the football gods to have two number one wide receivers and a solid number two. For all those years with Tyler Boyd. And as as much as I don't like Joe Mixon, he's proven to be a very solid running back. So he's been he's been fortunate to have number one receiver here, number one receiver here, number two receiver in the slot. And a top ten running back. And what you do with it. Like at some point, we have to have this conversation. You put Allen in that situation because he has the mobility to truck motherfuckers. We're going to talk about that later. Trucking dudes and jumping over people. And you take the same Josh Allen, but give him T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon. Man, Lamar, you, bro, I've said it for years. We don't, bro, we don't, we, we get tight, we get good tight ends. And solid running backs, we turned them great. But other than that, when was the last 
top flight receiver to come to Baltimore. Steve Smith Sr. So you give Lamar, T. Higgins, and Jamar Chase. See what happens. So like, bro, he's blessed, but he's not making the best of the situation. And now Nick Wright saying, hey, like, now you wonder why you always start all like off the eight ball. Like, if you don't get ahead, you never be in front. Mm. You got prime opportunity. Hard respect to said that. I know. That's why I was like, hmm. Like, you got to get ahead, bro. Ravens lost. Browns lost. Steelers barely won. Should have lost. You got the easiest game on your schedule, arguably. At home. At the cribbo. And you lose that. So that's right there. Bad vibes in Cincinnati. Uh, I'm low key trying to renege on my playoff prediction, but we we already set in stone. Whatever happens, happens. But man, here's their saving grace. Before we move on, this is like last thing. Last thing we'll move on. Yeah. They do play the Chiefs this week, but then afterwards they got the Commanders. They could win that. And the Panthers they before they play the Ravens in Week Six. So, oh, week five, week five. So, at worst, at best, they'll be two and two. At best, they'll be, if they beat with the winners, they'll be three and one going into uh, facing Baltimore. At worst, you lose to in, you lose to the Commanders or the Panthers, bro. Barring in, like, injury, of course, like hey, no injuries, like, nobody gets hurt. Like Joe Burrow doesn't get hurt, or whatever. If you lose to the Panthers or Commanders. And you going into Baltimore one in three? <laughs> Clipped. It's GG's. Nail in the coffin? Huh? Put him in the coffin. Put him in the coffin. 